for your health, I'm Kat Carney. If you have allergies or asthma, your doctor may recommend an investment in special protective bedding or dust mite covers, like this one I have here. This is a dust mite pillowcase. They might recommend these to shield you from pesky dust mites. But this week, two new studies question the effectiveness of this simple solution. And to help us understand more about this, we're joined from New York by ENT specialist Dr. Jordan Josephson. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Now, Dr. Josephson, I'm going to cut right to the chase here. These dust mite covers are not cheap. So what are these studies saying? Are they saying that they don't work? Well, it's a good question because I think uh, in and of itself, uh, maybe they don't work. However, I think that when you do a bunch of different things to clean up the environment in your room, and we certainly know environmental control is extremely important with allergies, we may find that they have a multiplicative effect. So I think that we need to do a little bit more studying of, of this exact topic before we have an answer. Now, a lot of doctors are really on the fence. Some are, are siding with the studies going, well, you know what? We used to recommend them. We're not going to do it anymore. A lot of doctors are saying, I'm still going to recommend them. So what is, it, you're, the, the studies aren't saying that they're harmful. So are you saying that, or are the studies saying that people really shouldn't invest in them anymore? No, I, I, I think it would be the same as, you know, we know that you need to keep your environment clean, which means that you keep the filters in your air conditioners uh, and your heaters clean. Uh, you keep the mold around the, the bathroom uh, and the kitchen, uh, you know, mold-free, keep it dry. Uh, certainly the dust covers on the pillows and the, and the uh, blankets and the, and the mattresses. I think each one of these things in and of itself may not make a big difference, but when you add it all up, I think it makes a big difference. I think it's extremely important. And I think patients still need to control their environment. So we're going to continue to tell patients to take care of their environment and keep it clean. Now, we only have a couple more seconds left. Now, this has been studied before. What made these, these studies different from the previous ones? Was it because they were, it was a much larger group that was studied? Um, I, I'm not really sure because I'm not familiar with the older studies, um, but I think that they looked at only one thing, and that being the dust covers. I think they weren't able to isolate it enough, as far as I'm concerned, from the other things that you need to do to help your allergies. I think there are more studies that need to be done. I think the good news for people that suffer from sinus problems and allergies and asthma is that there are newer treatments. They need to take care of their environment. They need to work close with their doctor. And there's new hope for sufferers that have had medicine and or surgical treatment that's failed before. Great. Thanks so much. And we'll have more headline news coming up after the break. Thanks for having me.